uniforms worn by members of the United States Armed Forces, Army, Navy, uh, Marines. See, we've got uh, water canteens here, ammunition boxes, a lot of photos here. Carry on with FDR. <laughs> Re-election re -election did come about during the war. Uh, period of real, yep, period of re-election did come about during the war. So naturally, Roosevelt was re-elected. Of course, uh, sadly, I think uh, he passed away shortly after his re-election, and then Truman took over. We got some uh, MRE kits, entrenching tools, other personal equipment. More books, more instruction manuals. Let's see. Let's zoom in. There we go. And we've got some uh, some standard wear, some flatware. A few other interesting things. That is a that is the shell casing of a five-inch cannon. Yeah, we got a spent five inch cannon shell here. Let's see, we got the gas mask. Gas mask wipes. An M1 steel helmet. Let's see, oh, it shows everybody what everything is right here. Claiborne, panoramic style. That means uh, the camera was centered one way and then it was rotated. Or this might be just like a huge blown up picture at range. <laughs> Got some newspaper for the Times. Another such photo of uh, Camp Polk here in Louisiana. Oh yeah, this. Let's see. Looking at this, looking this way, it was a lot easier. It looks like. Y'all can hear some of the music in the background. They've got uh, some uh, classic 1940s music playing in the background. Harold L. Ball. Let's see. James Knighton, one of the uh, Tuskegee Airmen. I believe he came from this area. Let's see. Okay, Colonel Jameson, another famous pilot. Yep, Tuskegee Airmen here. Got their got their tribute here. 99th Pursuit Squadron, 1942. Oops. Be careful of the lectern. Let's see. That's a picture of a well, group photo there. The, from across Europe and the Far East. Let's see. Hmm. Comparison here. American M, the American helmet M1 versus the British helmet. 
I believe I once heard someone term the British helmet as pure medieval. Well, so that was during World War I. Uh, the British helmet was actually, um, in a way, modeled, I think, on archers' helmets from the from the medieval period. So yes, the actual design was kind of medieval. Got a Japanese flag here. Let's see. Show. Oh, this is the captured flag. Oh, this is a flag captured from Saipan on July 9th. Let's see. Yep. Only 1,000 of some 30,000 Japanese troops survived. More ways to attack the Axis stronghold, plane performance. We have some Italian memorabilia, some German stuff. Paper of uh, FDR's death. show here the end of the war end of the war in Europe and the war over in Japan and in Italy the Shreveport Times <laughs> see First German Army surrenders to 82nd Division. 82nd L Bridgehead last in Europe. The All American. <laughs> you know, a lot of people always, when I was growing up, a lot of people said that newspapers didn't hold much significance after the day they were printed, but when you look at this, when you look at all the history shared in newspapers, and you remember a lot of the articles that got printed, it kind of makes you think, what newspapers did, what newspapers do you have lying around that might actually contain some form of history? What, what articles do you have that might tell a story? It makes you think, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, yep, Higgins Boat. came out after Pearl Harbor. Speed up, it is your Navy and your nation, Frank Knox. <laughs> Get a load of this. The Army needs lumber for crates and boxes. Nowadays you'd, nowadays you'd look at those jokes, nowadays you'd think of those lines and think of one of those corny jokes, but back then that was actually, that was real, that was uh, basically what was said, basically what was needed. We got a, let me zoom back out, got a World War II timeline here from 39 to 45.
this kind of also in the category of pieces meant for moms and relatives. A blue star. Yep, blue star is for active service. Gold star is killed in action. So when you hear people talk about gold star families, they are families who have sadly lost a loved one in the service of the country. Movies were dominated by the war. The movie industry was as, was well supported by the government because of its morale boost boosting ability. In return, the industry made training videos for the army. Films like Citizen Kane, Casablanca, and The Grapes of Wrath were technological breakthroughs. And then, of course, classic newsreels. Defense insignia. Self recognition cards for United States aircraft, Navy, Navy aircraft and ships. Civil Air Patrol. Def uh, introduction to Civil Air Patrol. This is the home front. Cadet Captain, Civil Air Patrol, Observer, Spotters. Handcrafted items from various people. <laughs> See, yep, <laughs> sweetheart pillows. Satiny sentimental souvenirs sent back as consoling tokens of caring during rough times. Often show a particular branch of the military or generally a feature specific location. Women in wartime. Work, woman ordnance worker. That's what they called them back then. That's what they called people back then. Working on them, working to make sure that the military kept need, kept ha, kept getting the supplies they needed, the equipment they needed. All righty. So. That actually concludes the, this actually concludes this video on the commissary. So I'll be moving on to the next location, and eventually we will be taking a ride on the uh, rail bus that they have here at the air museum as well. So stay tuned, and I hope y'all enjoy what I'm doing so far.